Hey guys, this is something that I don't really do, but I figured I might as well give it a try. So here I'm going to show you how I go from pencil sketch to a full color drawing using only the mouse. So I know it's not the best way. There are tablets you can buy, there are screen tablets, there are, you know, the basic basic drawing tablets you can buy that's fairly cheap but if you don't have the money and you still want to be able to draw digitally you can do so with a mouse it's going to be it's going to be a strain on your hand and it's not going to be that professional but you'll still get some results with it also I still like having physical sketches so I do a pencil sketch I ink it with my fine liner and then I scan it to my PC if you want you can take a photo of it if you don't have a scanner you can just take a photo of the drawing and upload it to your computer once in Photoshop uh, open a new file I set it to A3 size at 300 dpi dots per inch and this is an old photoshop by the way it's CS6 but it still works completely fine for like drawing, photo editing, things like that it still works fine I scale, the, I scale the sketch to make it the size of the, of the A3 page I make two layers, I drag one above the sketch, I put one below the sketch and then I fill the one below the sketch, I fill it with a light grey colour and we will need this for later. So on the sketch layer, I turn the low, I lower the opacity, just about like 25% or so. I lower the opacity of the sketch and I go to the layer above the sketch. And this is going to be our, our line art layer, let's say. So on the line art layer, I pick a brush, the little pointy brush. I set it to be very small at about 8 pixels. And now I start doing the line art. I go to the little pen tool. I start making anchors and paths around the drawing. And then I click, I right click, and then I click stroke path. And I do this with the pen pressure turned on. So you get a line that sort of thins out when it gets to the point. So it looks like a a pinned sketch a pinned um, how can I say? It looks like an inked an inked line. So I do this all around the drawing, changing the size where I need to. I mostly use the the eight, the size eight for around the around the drawing and I use maybe smaller sizes for for inside the for like creases on clothing or maybe the, the eyelashes I will use a smaller smaller sized pen so yeah I will just do that all around the drawing until the line art is done
Uh, then I would use the the little um, area select tool, and I would try to find holes in where the where in the line art. So if the area select it leaks out, it leaks out onto the main canvas. I can see. Um, I can see where the holes are in the line art. But yeah, with our line art done, we can start doing the color. And I, I like to start doing the skin first because it just seems e it's a, just seems easier to get it out of the way first. So I'll go around wherever there's skin. I'll use the, the magic wand tool, click around wherever there's skin, and then I will go to select and then expand the area by about two pixels and then I'll fill it with the skin color. So this makes sure that the um, that the layer that I want the um, the cut the skin color to be on it's below the the line art and that the the um, the skin the skin color would go sort of under the under the line so that there's no there's no major gaps. If there are gaps, I will use the um, the pencil tool with the same color as the um, the same color as the skin and high opacity, 100% opacity, and then just go around wherever there's like little gaps, and then just fill the gaps with the with the pencil. Easy. And now you'll see why we are working on a gray canvas because if you're working on a plain white canvas anything you add is going to look you know extra dark around all the white and if you're working on a black plain black canvas anything you add to it is going to look extra light so adding a adding a light you know skin skin tone it's just going to look just a bit darker on, you know, on something that's plain white. So having a grey background keeps it looking sort of neutral. So, you know, to your eye, it's going to now look correct. So with all the color of the skin done, the next thing I do is the, uh, the shading. Of the shading of the skin, I take a, I take a skin color that is a little bit darker and then I, I can make a new layer above the above the skin I make a new layer above the skin and then just link it to the um, I lock the layer basically to the to the skin to the, to the skin layer so this way it doesn't when you're doing the when you're doing this the, the shading it doesn't so you know, sort of overflow and go go everywhere. Doesn't like you know go outside of the lines that you're working on. I set the layer to multiply, and then I start doing the shading of the of the skin. You know, just a bit of light shading with a, um, a sort of low opacity airbrush. Um, this way I can make a new this way I can make a new layer come back to it come back to the skin take a slightly darker color make it maybe a, a, a slightly higher opacity and then start working on it again and start making darker shadows and I pretty much do this for like every area that I work on the skin the hair the um, the clothes, the eyes, and it's just a lot of selecting different layer. It's just a lot of selecting different layer blending modes so that it, the everything sort of well blends together.
And when I want like shadows to be like really sharp and stick out for like um, you know like under the under the armpits or like shadows that uh, streaks in the hair, I will go back to the the pen tool. I will go to make it slightly bigger, make your sorry, make the brush slightly bigger. Go back to the pen tool, and then start making lines around where I want the shadows to be. This way, I can stroke the path again, and you'll get like these really sharp, um, <clears throat> really sharp lines. And this is all, you know, with a mouse. And I normally, I normally have the same formula uh, when it comes to all the drawings that I do. Set the when doing shadows, set the blending mode to to multiply. When doing highlights, set the blending mode to to overlay. And there you go, it's just a it's just a nice easy way of you know drawing with a mouse if you're not fortunate enough to have a tablet or uh, fortunate enough to afford a tablet. It's just a nice easy way to just keep drawing. Hey, I don't always make videos where I speak, so if you like this, consider subscribing to the channel, liking the video, things like that. And if you really like what I draw, you can find all my artwork printed on t-shirts, phone covers, stickers, and many more things like that. And the link to that will be somewhere in the description, so consider picking up a t-shirt if you want.